let's learn how to make homemade waffles. Now I am doubling the recipe so I can put a few batches in the freezer for later. But to make it easier, I'm just going to put the regular recipe on the screen. In one bowl, you're going to have the dry ingredients, which is two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of sugar. And then you're going to mix that together and set to the side. Now for the wet ingredients, you're going to take two eggs, a third cup of melted butter, one and a half cups of warm milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're going to mix it all together. Now you're going to take the wet mixture and pour it into the dry mixture carefully and then with a large whisk, go ahead and whisk it together until a batter forms. Now take your batter and pour it into your waffle maker. I actually don't have a waffle maker, I have one of these griddles that has waffle attachments. I just evenly put a thin layer so it doesn't spill over and they do rise a little bit. And cook until they're golden and crispy. It took maybe 4 minutes per batch. The regular recipe makes anywhere from 10 to 12 waffles, but like I said, I doubled it. And that's it. And if you want to reheat your frozen waffles, go ahead and put them in the toaster just like you would like Eggo waffles. <laughs>Did you know that if you take two eggs and whisk them together and pour them into a pan and lay a tortilla on top and flip it over and fill it with tomatoes, greens, avocado, and red pepper flakes and fold it in half, you will have just created a super easy and healthy breakfast. Let's make Turkish eggs, otherwise known as chilba. Please forgive my American pronunciation. First, we're gonna make the Aleppo butter super easy. All you have to do is melt four tablespoons of butter in a pan, add two tablespoons of olive oil, and a little over one tablespoon of Aleppo pepper. Get that nice and foamy, then take it off the heat and let it steep. Next, let's make the garlicky yogurt. I decided to add some herbs to mine as well, so it's a few cloves of garlic, and then I added mint, flat leaf parsley, and dill. Make sure to season with salt, of course, and then I added some lemon juice at the end to really brighten it up. Now cut some crusty bread. I wrapped mine in tin foil and popped in the oven for a little bit just to get it all warm and toasty again. Poach some eggs, don't forget to drain them and pat them dry, and now we're going to assemble. Just dollop and smear your yogurt, add some poached eggs, and drizzle all over with the Aleppo butter. Finish with some flaky salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, and some fresh herbs, and you're done. Full video and instructions on how to make this is on my YouTube channel, link in bio. Enjoy. breakfast game changer so I just have to share with you. Make a little indent in the middle of a piece of bread. I spread on some leftover garlic confit oil, cracked an egg, sprinkled on some shredded cheese, and everything but the bagel seasoning. I baked on the convection oven setting of my air fryer at 375 degrees for about seven minutes.
This is a week of healthy breakfast ideas made in under 20 minutes. First up is a breakfast bowl with oat yogurt, fruit, granola, and topped with maple syrup. Next up is my homemade granola made up of only five ingredients, which I always have with fresh berries and soy milk. Then avocado toast with homemade beet hummus and sprinkled with sesame and hemp seeds. The fourth recipe is an overnight chia pudding topped with coconut yogurt, mangoes, strawberries, and blueberries. Then we have a chickpea sandwich with tomato, avocado, and sprouts on a toasted bagel. Six recipes of vegan French toast made with flax, soy milk, cinnamon, and maple syrup, and served with fresh fruit. The last recipe is strawberry overnight oat jars, perfect to prep on the weekend and enjoy throughout the week. Let me know if you want the full recipes. Five minute Korean breakfast. One can of tuna. Drain oil or water. Add mayonnaise. Go to Jang. Sesame oil, salt, and pepper. Mix, mix, mix. Add to rice. Eat with some seaweed. I'm your mom now, and I'm going to teach you how to make the best crepes. Buttermilk, eggs, sugar, vanilla, a little pinch of salt, and some flour. Add a little bit of water to thin it out and then top it on your blender. I added two tablespoons of melted butter before I blended because I had forgotten it and then I just rimmed my pan with butter and I got all the sides nice and hot, dolloped in one ladle full of it and just spin it all around the edges. Gently pull the sides with your spatula and flip. It's okay if you see raw bits because they're going to cook. Now fill it with anything you'd like. I use whipped cream and Nutella and strawberry.